And here she is, here's Shana and her mum, Jade. Wow, so you're 19 now. Yes. And you know, you've been through so much in your life and yet you've achieved so much. What, what has given you that fight, do you think, Shana? I think um, just to be born, you know, a little bit different and to be aware of that, you kind of put up a bigger fight to um, make your own in the world and kind of put a stamp on it your way. Yeah, well, you've certainly done that. And what is it about climbing? I mean, with just one arm, that would have been the last thing a lot of people would have thought of doing. Yeah, well, um, at first, you know, I was a bit uh, nervous about it. But I think I like how it's so unique and so different. Um, I, I really like the challenge of climbing. Your legs must be really, really <laughs> strong. Yeah, um, it takes a lot of uh, leg strength to climb with one arm. And what was it like when you first started doing that? I mean, you must have had to try, try and try again at first. Definitely. Um, the first time I tried it, you know, I was obviously terrible. Um, such a hard sport to do, but I think, um, yeah, just having the challenge and going all the way to the top, you know, yeah. is brilliant. There's no stopping you, is there? <laughs> and yet, Jade, you, you were told that, that Shana might not survive, let alone achieve what she's gone on to do. Yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't supposed to survive at all. My waters went at 20 weeks, and yeah. I was told then that she go home, you're going to labour, and the baby's not going to survive. So yeah. to see her now and see how far she's come, it's, it's amazing, really. Because it wasn't just her arm, she had a curved spine, no collarbone, all sorts of, I mean, a lot, and it was a collapsed lungs. Yeah, she had collapsed lungs and she had, um, her, her spine was, wasn't was in curved. line, that was curved, yeah. and her feet were facing up the wrong way, so she had to have been manipulated for a couple of years to turn her feet back round. Um, dislocated knee, they found out, There's some, something wrong with her pelvis as well, so she had to have lots of operations yeah. over the years on... So you've That's both well. been through it, haven't mm. you? You emotionally must have yeah. been just continuously drained for, for years while Jade was yeah. going through all of this. Yeah, yeah. So what is it about her, do you think, that has, you know, a lot of other people wouldn't have done what she's done? Not a many mental attitude, have. I think. She's got an amazing positive mental attitude, but yeah, I always say to people I never acted in cotton wool. Maybe I was a little bit harsh, like you will do this on your own. Um, but I, th I think that's... Probably, I think I'd have made a rod for my own back if I'd have done everything for her because yeah. she'd got to this point in life where she's gone off to uni and it would have been really, really difficult for her to um, find her own way in the world without parents doing things for her. So I just had to let her get on with it. But her mental attitude is fantastic. So how but proud are you now? Amazing. People keep asking me that. How, how, how can I put it into words? Immensely proud. I couldn't be more proud, really. I couldn't be more proud. It's just... Fantastic. And what do you think? Mum's tough love played a, <laughs> played a part in you determining to, yeah, to achieve. You will definitely. Do it. I reckon uh -huh. if she didn't, um, if she did wrap me up in cotton wool um, and did everything for me, then I probably wouldn't be brave enough to go and try all these crazy things. Yeah, because they are pretty crazy, <laughs> yeah. Anna, I have to say. Have, have you ever had any sort of mishaps whilst you're <laughs> climbing to the top? <laughs> Not climbing, um, but I've. You know, only minor injuries, like, you know, injuring fingers and training and stuff like that. But I've, you know, never really injured myself with climbing. It's always trying other things like skateboarding and so on. Good grief. Gosh, I've, I've never even been on a skateboard. Have you been on a skateboard, um, Jane? Yes. Oh, gosh. For about so... ten seconds. Oh, right, then, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I can't do it at all. <laughs> and now yeah. you are captain of the GB paraclimbing team. Yes. <laughs> How's that? A big responsibility? It does sound like a big responsibility, um, but the rule is really simple. You've just got to look after your teammates, um, and make sure they're coping OK in uh, challenging environments like at competitions and things like that. You've just got to be a really good friend to them um, yeah. and be there for them. Yeah. Well, you've been through so much that you would understand anything that they, that they would be going through. Big day today. I think yeah. it's tonight, mm -hmm. later it's today, that night. you find... Six o'clock tonight. Is it eight, eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Eight 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 OK, eight, eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. That you will find out if paraclimbing will be included in 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Well, we find out whether um, climbing as a whole makes it into the Olympics. We yeah. find out later on whether paraclimbing's made it or not. And what do you reckon? Do you think it will? I reckon it's got a good chance. Um, still keeping my fingers crossed, though. Um, 
thinking really positive about it. Yeah, good. Well, I, I shall be at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Hang on, when was it, did you say? About 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, right. I shall be <laughs> wondering as well. Yeah. <laughs> really, really great to meet you. I really hope that you will go to Tokyo in 2020. Thanks very Thank much, both of you. Thank you. Oh, and Real Stories, 7.30 tonight on ITV. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow Thursday. night. Uh, yeah, that's Jade's story.